write this out. Um, whenever the test runner initializes, let me zoom in a little bit. Test runner initializes. The next step is run uh, test module initialize. Then it goes and finds all of the types, uh, the test classes, and it iterates over them. Constructors. the test class uh, has an initialization and then it executes a test uh, and this is a test method up instructor uh, and then test module clean Click up So that's basically the flow. Every time you run the test runner, it does all of these things. Unless you specifically tell it to run like a specific test, like I was just doing, it'll run all of them. Uh, the the reason why there is a difference is because there may be something that you want to be run only one time and the constructors are actually run multiple times internally like it, it does like some rudimentary reflection it does some initialization of types makes sure that you know it basically does an instantiation and and some other nonsense you don't have to really worry about by the from our standpoint, from the, the engineer standpoint, that's just basically running tests. But the test class initialize is basically like a static constructor. It's run one time for the entire class to initialize whatever variables open up, uh, open up resources like database access and this sort of thing or sort of thing. Yes. Correct. Um, it might be back. I might, I might have that backwards. I can find out.
yes. There you go. Instructor is instantiated for each instance. The initialization is called for anything. Yeah, no problem. That's what I'm here for. Uh, and then the initialization and cleaner called external to those. So basically like static uh, constructor. They tend to. I mean, I'm looking, we're looking at my C++ one. I have a C Sharp project that I think we just passed 800 tests on and we're nowhere near complete. And I mean, I was talking about it a moment ago with uh, Amber Shee a second ago, but uh, one of the things I failed to mention before is that unit testing allows you to refactor comfortably because your tests tell you that your code is working properly. And so